What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air. And on today's service call we have a customer who has a, a gas furnace that will not come on and they ended up having a problem with the pressure switch orifice. It was clogged up and it was causing the pressure switch not to start up. So if you want to see how I figured it out and fixed it, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm up here at the furnace and we hear an inducer motor kicking on and nothing's happening. What you always want to do is you want to look, find your circuit board. You need to find your diagnostics light and see what that's blinking. Okay, that's blinking three lights. What we'll do is we'll go over here to our nameplate and we find out how many blinks that diagnostic board is giving us is giving us three flashes and what it says here is the pressure switch is stuck open now in the furnace this right here is your pressure switch and what this does is it pulls a vacuum when this inducer motor comes on into here and closes that switch so basically it's telling us that that pressure switch is not getting pressure from the inducer motor so one of the first things that we're always going to do if your blower motor is on you can take your flue pipe off, see if it's blowing out. But one of the first things I always do because we're here on a maintenance is I want to check that little orifice right here to see if it's blocked up. Because a lot of times at the first of the year when you first turn your heat on, you can get build up in that little orifice and it could keep the pressure switch open. The easiest way to figure out if that's the case, just pull your line off of your pressure switch and you can blow through it okay when I tried to blow through that tubing I could not get any air to pass through to my inducer motor so that tells me that that little orifice in there is stopped up so what we need to do is take a little bit of wire clean that out and it should take care of the problem alright guys one of the easiest ways to clean this inducer orifice is you can take a little piece of thermostat wire and you'll just run that down into the orifice hole up and down to clear that blockage out and then what we'll do is we'll pop our hose back on now we can take it off blow through it and once we clean that out now as I blow down the tube I can feel the air escaping into my inducer motor so that tells me the whole problem was that blockage so what we're going to do is we'll put this back on we're going to turn power back onto our furnace and see if everything starts up all right guys the furnace started up so the whole problem was uh, a clogged inducer orifice and that was the whole problem so guys pretty easy service call here i'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this thing up I hope you guys learned something, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe. And just always, anytime you have a pressure switch failure, the first thing you always want to check is that I do support to make sure it's not stopped up. Alright guys, see you on the next video.